When you think of fast food, life-saving business typically isn't a phrase that follows. But for Mr. Kirk Alexander of Salem, Oregon, he might not be alive today if it weren't for the quick response from his most beloved fast food chain. Read the true story of how a team of Domino's employees saved the life of a loyal customer. Kirk Alexander of Salem, Oregon, was a die-hard pizza lover. Many might call this affection for the savory pie an obsession, while others may find it a testament of the depths of love. Whatever the case, there was only one pizza chain that he remained loyal to, the local Domino's. And he'd been ordering from the same restaurant time and time again for nearly a decade. We can't blame Kirk for being infatuated with the savory pie. In fact, with nearly 3 billion pizzas being served annually in the U.S., it's clear that not a single person on the planet has a distaste for the savory, oven-baked, breakfast, lunch, and dinner item. Sarah Fuller, the manager of the restaurant that received Kirk's orders for the past 10 years, spoke highly of him. He ordered every day or every other day without fail, and all of the employees' days get a little brighter when they see Kirk's order pop up on the screen. Sarah first met Kirk back in 2009 when she first started working at Domino's. She started off as a delivery driver and got to know Kirk on a first-name basis. They had quite the rapport. She learned that he was self-employed, working from home, and that he had a history of health-related problems. Kirk's neighbors, on the other hand, didn't know very much about the super-loyal Domino's fan. Once in a while, a neighbor would swing by his house and hope to speak with him for a few moments but very rarely did he answer his door. It was as if his social skills were solely for making small talk with pizza delivery drivers. It wasn't as if Kirk was a complete shut-in. Ben Theodorix, another of Kirk's neighbors, stated that Kirk would come over on occasion to help fix whatever computer problems they were having. He was, as he put it, a pretty good guy. Even though he was a well-known customer in that particular Domino's restaurant, it was only the delivery drivers that got to know him on a personal level. He placed his orders online so never interacted through telephone, and he had to open up the door to receive his freshly baked pizza pie. But one day, out of the blue, there wasn't an order from Kirk. Now, Kirk would sometimes, though very rarely, go one day without ordering. Perhaps this was one of those times, so the employees at Domino's didn't give much thought to this. However, one day would turn to two, which turned to a week, and finally, many of us can go 11 or longer without pizza, but not Kirk. He had always placed an order at his local Domino's for the past 10 years every day or every other day without fail. The sudden lack of order for 11 straight days was alarming to the staff, but nobody was sure what to do. After 11 days of receiving no news from Kirk, everyone at Domino's was kind of in a panic. A man who has admitted to having health issues suddenly goes missing? Something wasn't right, and the employees at Domino's wanted to get to the bottom of it. One of the things that made Kirk a valued regular was his unpredictable orders. He wasn't just a one-pie kind of guy. If there was a new menu item, you could bet that he would be one of the first customers to give it a try. And he loved everything coming out of the oven. Still without news of Kirk's whereabouts? the people at Domino's decided to be proactive in their search for answers. Instead of waiting around, Sarah sent a delivery driver to check on Kirk. Tracy Hamblin was given the important mission to swing by Kirk's place of residence and figure out once and for all why he wasn't placing any more orders. Initially, Tracy didn't find anything odd about the outside of Kirk's home. The doors and windows were intact, but he couldn't leave without answers. Not knowing what to expect, he approached his home and peeked inside. The inside lights were on, the TV was blaring, and he smiled to herself in relief. Although it was safe to assume Kirk was inside at the time, what had prevented him from placing an order for a random item on the Domino's menu? He was hoping to get answers from Kirk, and after knocking on his door for several minutes, he realized nobody was coming to the door. Tracy requested former co-workers to try and give Kirk a phone call while he pounded on his front door while screaming his name to no avail. Her co-workers' efforts were also in vain, as their calls were automatically sent to voicemail. Not knowing what to do, Tracy decided to go back to the restaurant to see what more he could do. Everyone was still curious as to what was stopping Kirk from placing his orders. Without wasting time, the staff knew what they needed to do. 
they dialed 911. There was no proof that Kirk was in a dire situation, but they had to find out what happened to their faithful customer. Tracy dialed 911 and told emergency response that something might be wrong with one of their regulars, quite possible an emergency. While on the phone with 911, Tracy made sure to let them know that one of their most loyal customers of 10 years had not placed an order for 11 days. They were worried about him and requested 911 to see if Kirk was okay. The sheriff's office immediately sent a team of deputies to respond to the call. With professionals of the scene, the Domino's team were hoping to receive answers. When the deputies arrived at Kirk's home, they pounded on his door screaming his name, and to their surprise, they received a faint but audible response coming from within. Without hesitation, the police knocked down Kirk's front door and called for an ambulance. They found Kirk lying on floor, nearly passed out. He had been screaming for help ever since he was missing, but to no avail. The paramedics picked him up and brought him to the local hospital. Although Sarah knew of Kirk's past health problems, she wasn't aware of how severe his condition was. According to reports, Kirk had four minor strokes in the past, and the reason for his missing orders for the last 11 days was that he suffered another. The news of Kirk's stroke shocked everyone, all the staff at the Domino's restaurant. What was more surprising was that had they delayed calling 911 even a day later, Kirk might possibly have not survived his fifth stroke. Kirk was immediately rushed to Salem Hospital, where he was treated for his stroke and dehydration. During the 11 days he was missing, he was unable to eat or drink. It was a miracle that he could even shout out to the deputies who came knocking at his door that fateful night. Kirk received another chance at life. The paramedics were able to keep him stable while transporting him to the local hospital for treatment. Doctors did their best and brought Kirk back from the brink of the unthinkable. The staff at Domino's soon learned that their beloved regular would make a full recovery and breathe a collective sigh of relief. News of the quick-thinking staff at Domino's spread like wildfire. The media from all corners of the world caught wind of this unlikely tale of a fast-food restaurant actually saving a life, and the staff were hailed as heroes, and rightfully so. Had they left Kirk to his own devices for a day longer, Kirk might have never recovered from his condition. The staff at Domino's made a point of visiting Kirk at the hospital whenever they had time. It was an emotional couple of moments for both Kirk and the employees at his favorite fast food chain. To see Kirk recovering from his condition put a smile on everybody's face, especially Sarah Fuller, the very first delivery driver who got to know Kirk on a more personal level. The story of Domino's heroic actions blew up after Sarah Fuller, the manager at Domino's, made an appearance on Good Morning America, along with assistant manager Jenny Cyber. They were asked to give their accounts on the 11-day-long story of their missing Kirk and how springing into action saved a life. While on air, the hosts of Good Morning America didn't let Sarah and Jenny go without being rewarded for saving a life. The pair, along with every employee at the Domino's restaurant in Salem, Oregon, were given tickets to watch Captain America, Civil War. Sarah, Jenny, and Tracy, the delivery driver who made the call to alert 911 of the situation, were invited to the Domino's Worldwide Rally, an annual event hosted by Domino's corporate office in Las Vegas, to show appreciation for going the extra mile. Kirk Alexander, the faithful Domino's customer, who had gone missing for 11 days and found in his home after suffering a stroke, has made a full recovery. Kirk has slowed down on placing orders at his favorite fast food chain, but every time his order appears on screen, it leaves a smile on the faces of the Domino's staff.